The reason I picked these 12 After Effects scripts and plugins is simple. They either make a complex task stupidly easy, saving you tons of time, or do something completely impossible without. Oh, and yeah, they are all free. First up, Full Parent. Picture this, you've got 100 layers in your timeline. So a standard motion design project. You want to parent a bunch of them to one specific layer. You could scroll endlessly through the drop-down menu trying to find the right name, or go wild, grab the pick whip and hope you land on the correct one. Full Parent fixes that. Select your child layers, click the parent layer, and boom, done. So simple, it's painful. Staying on parenting, Void lets you select multiple layers, hit one button, and it automatically creates a null in the middle and parents everything to it. If you hold Shift, the null appears in Comp Center. Hold Option and Shift, it creates a parent null for each selected layer. But here's my favorite one. If you select a point-based property, like 4-color gradient or radial blur, Void can parent those points to a null, giving you way more control. Next up is a plugin that does something you definitely cannot do natively in After Effects. Copy Pasta lets you copy and paste images directly from the web, Photoshop or Illustrator straight into After Effects. You can even go the other way. And yes, it supports transparency. This one's a true classic. Motion Tools bundles a bunch of handy mini scripts into one panel. Anchor point positioning, sequencing and staggering layers and keyframes, and my favorites, extract and merge shape layers. Basically, you can split one shape layer into separate shape layers or merge multiple shape layers into one. Super handy when working with Illustrator files that appear as a single messy shape layer. Speaking of which, Motion Tools also has Convert to Shape and Remove Artboard. If you ever converted an Illustrator layer to shapes, you know those annoying rectangles that appear. Remove Artboard deletes them instantly. Pair this one with Copy Pasta and you can move actors and images from Illustrator to After Effects without losing your sanity. Slicer is one of those plugins you won't need every day. But when you do, you'll thank yourself for having it. It does exactly what it says. It slices solids, image and video layers into grids with controls for spacing and even corner roundness. Alright, this one is to motion designers what Batmobile is to Batman. Technically, he could operate without it, but come on, it's Batman. I'm Batman. Anyway. EaseCopy lets you copy and paste graph editor curves between properties or layers. You can even set keyboard shortcuts and skip the panel entirely. Take some time to get used to it, but trust me, once you do, you'll never work in After Effects without it again. Quick announcement, if you're into After Effects automation, take a look at our playlist with over 20 different workflows, from spreadsheets and their table to some advanced video automations. You'll find the link above me and down below. So, we're still at the essential plugins, and the FX console is definitely one of them, if not the one. Normally, adding an effect means digging through effects and presets panel. With FX console, just hit your shortcut, type the name, and press enter. Even better, assign hotkeys to your favorite effects and presets, adding them in milliseconds. I'm 99% sure every experienced After Effects user has it installed. And you should too. One more thing, FX console can take quick snapshots of your comp, so you don't have to export still frames through render queue like a maniac. Trim packs is in the don't it often, but when you do, you'll want to have it in your toolbox category. It automatically animates trim pads without having to dig through a bunch of properties. You can instantly animate in, out, from the center or from the edges. It also has a few cool features like path reverse, quick horizontal vertical lines, and my favorite, trace trim pads, which adds a null that follows the path. Perfect for attaching objects to your animated stroke. Just a heads up, your shape needs to be a path, not an ellipse or rectangle, so convert them to paths first. Decompose text is another classic. It splits your text into characters, words or lines. Simple as that. Ideal for custom text animations and kinetic typography. Alright, imagine this. You built your whole scene, everything's animated and the client says it feels too two-dimensional. Can you add more depth? Normally, that means rearranging layers, scaling, switching to 3D space, pure pain. 
Well, depth does it all in one click. Set layer spacing and focal length, click disperse, it creates a camera, adjusts set positions, and even scales layers automatically, without breaking your animations. Ok, I found this one recently, and honestly, I had to rethink my life choices for a minute. Sorty sorts layers in your timeline by Geris, position, anchor point, rotation, scale, opacity, name, source name, in point, out point, source time, point, line, label. And you can sort in ascending, descending, random or reverse order. I can't count how many hours I wasted manually reorganizing layers so they make at least some sense. Sorty fixes that completely. And guess what, Sorty becomes even more powerful when paired with our last plugin. That's right, we finally came to an end. Our last plugin, Rift. We talked about Motion Tools Classic and how it can stagger layers and keyframes. Well, Rift is smarter, way smarter version of it. You see, the problem with Classic Stagger is that it feels linear. Same offset for every layer. Rift adds a curve to that offset, making it feel natural and rhythmic. You can stagger in points, out points, keyframes, even markers. You can control amount, order, even the curve shape. Of course, there's a randomize option and a bunch of cool features like keyframe alignment and up to five states, so you don't need to tweak the settings every single time. 